like this forever, so this is going to be interesting. I've driven through here when they had a really bad snowstorm. They had a sign that said, chains required. Yeah, I didn't do that. And it was a two-wheel drive car, also lowered, so that drive was a little crazy. Very dangerous too. And I don't even know if we're really getting to the most, one of the more dangerous parts on this trip. Because I think the more dangerous parts are like closer to the middle. There was a hot springs in here. Okay, well, I'm going to just watch. When we get closer, I'll start recording again. Okay, so we took this exit. Uh, left the middle of nowhere. We'll see where we go. Uh, that's crazy. We actually have Woke up today, was planning on going to the gym. I then I decided maybe I should relax. I started cleaning and then someone reached out to me, do you wanna to go to hot springs? I'm like, okay, sounds fun. I've never been, so this is what I'm doing now. I'm heading towards a hot spring. It's a little far, it was a little over an hour drive, and I'm just going up using the full self-driving. There were a couple times I stopped it just because I wanted to avoid roadkill, and that was pretty much it. Oh, and yeah, so this is pretty cool. It's going 30 miles per hour. Oh, so it's going a little faster than it should be. Uh, it should be there in 11 minutes. Coming. It looks way blue. I know. Oh, his camera shows it way blue. Oh, wow. Look. Okay. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty.
Oops. Yeah. So now I'm heading back home. It, it's raining a little bit, uh, but the hot spring was awesome. First time I've been there, did some grounding. So that what that means is just walking my bare foot on the land, stepping on rocks, stepping in the water. It's really interesting. Okay, so I'm currently here sitting here charging. I could probably make it home before I need a charge, but it's on my way, so I'm charging here. And these chargers are a little different. It's on the side of the vehicle instead of behind. So that's really interesting. So I've never seen that before. Okay, so today has been pretty active. I woke up, was debating on going to the gym. I started cleaning, so I decided not to, but then I got a text wondering if I wanted to go to the hot springs and I've never been to the hot springs and it sounded like a fun thing to do. It was also a hike. So you actually hike about two miles up there and then once you get there, you could jump into hot springs. There are some hot ones and there are some cold ones and warm ones. And there, was, so there were a couple of waterfalls and I went under the, a couple of the waterfalls and it felt refreshing because after the hike, it was actually, my body was pretty warm and that was pretty fun and then we just chilled out for a little bit took pictures i changed there too behind a rock and then once i was done i just changed back and headed back down i didn't really have much of a charge on my cyber truck because to this day i usually charge my cyber truck so it was really low so by the time i got there i had like 25 percent power um, right now, when I left there, came here, I it was about 17%. I can't remember how many miles that was. But I just wanted to get a full charge before heading all the way home. Um, I probably could have made it home without charging. But I kind of want to see what this supercharger was like in this area. And it is interesting. The superchargers are actually on the side instead of behind the vehicle with what I'm used to. And yeah, I have 35 minutes to go. I thought my hair was going to look way bad, but it, it looks like it's not horrible. It's not horrible. So I'm happy about that. I thought it was going to be like all scraggly, all going all over but I didn't really dip my head in there. I just woke up and it was a mess. Fixed it up a little bit, got wet. And now it still, it's not the best, but it's, it's okay. No, no, what's happening over here? Oh dang. Oh, I guess I can't take the freeway or can I? Oh, okay, here we go something oh this is gonna be weird sharp turn ah! I don't know if the full self-driving could have handled that but who knows Okay, so I need to get better at recording myself. Because, yeah, I did not this week. I just did it one day and that was pretty much it. But let's talk about my week. So Monday, I did, I was debating on this, but then I applied. I applied for a math program, so a master's in accounting. So we'll see how that goes. So it's in the application process. And then on Tuesday, I met up with some coworkers 
for lunch and we just caught up and then someone there one of my co-workers invited me to karaoke so on Thursday we went to karaoke so but the crazy thing about that is on my way there there was a truck in the middle of nowhere just in the on a busy road and I guess his tires fell off because on the right hand side I saw a person pushing a tire to that vehicle so I'm pretty sure his tire fell off and he couldn't go anywhere I didn't say to see what happened but yeah that's pretty much my week in summary uh, yeah what I've noticed is if something's not working you just have to work on it keep on improving if it feels like you're not growing think of what you could do to improve your life that's why I applied for the applied for more schooling is I felt like I needed more, more going on with my life so that's why I applied for that and we'll see how that goes if I do get in I'm probably going to be talking talk about that even more, but we'll see. Hey, so I'm just heading home, and I've been thinking this whole week that if there's people in your life that's not adding value to your life, you need to talk to them less, to them less. find people that improve you or make you help you grow it's just like a company if you have an employee under you that's not adding value to the company just causing more issues or bringing it down you need to learn how to quick, cut them quick is you don't want your company to fail but yeah I hope you like this video if you do I hope you hit the like and subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys later